What's good everyone, you dig, four eyes, two G's here, and today we're here to talk about Trippy Red, and oh my goodness, Trippy Red has turned around the storyline over the last couple months and shut up all the haters with his recent installment of his A Love Letter 2 series by coming out and selling 104k first week, which is very impressive and even a little surprising if I might say so myself. It wasn't that long ago that Trippy failed to meet expectations on his weakest project to date with exclamation mark, which only sold 51k first week and received pretty mediocre reviews from fans. And some people are wondering how Trippy was able to come back so strongly on this. Well, let's break it down. I'm so gone, feel so alone. I'm so gone, feel so alone. You're the reason why I'm still holding on. You the reason why I'm still holding on Ay, I don't know what to say Every day I'm fighting this motherfucking pain I just wanna let you know I don't feel okay Firstly, Trippy Red sales, excluding exclamation mark, because I think that's an outlier due to how negatively that album was received, have always been quite high and has shown he has quite a big fan base. Life's a Trip sold 72k first week, and then A Love Letter to 3 sold 84k first week. So, whilst 104k is quite an increase from these numbers, it isn't that far removed from his ballpark. Some people do not realize how popular Trippy is, particularly with a younger demographic, he really connects with them, and he has had more than a couple commercial hits, and is by far far away one of the more popular newer generation artists. However, I think there are a couple crucial differentiators with this project that has led to the increase in sales, so let's break it down. And in the comments below, I want everyone to tell me their favorite Trippy Red project. For me, I think it's still gonna be either a love letter to you one or life's a trip. Those two really stand out to me, but let me know yours in the comments below and let's get onto it. So there are two main factors, namely other features and the track listing. If you weren't aware, Trippy Red has been under quality control management for a minute now, and I think the influence can be seen in this album. They've done what they love to do, and that's packed out the track list, not only with a ton of heavy hitting features, but with a ton of songs. Following the blueprint of artists they work with like Migos, whose Culture True had 24 songs on it, or even the most recent QC compilation albums, which had 30 and 36 songs respectively, A Level Letter to 4 has 21 songs. A sizable increase from the 13 that was on exclamation mark, 16 that was on number 3, 15 that was on Life's a Trip, 14 on number 2, and 12 on one so there's quite a big difference and if you're unaware why this is significant this is because making longer albums is a tactic used by labels and management in this streaming era to boost sales as the more tracks on an album means that when people listen to the album they have to stream a greater quantity of songs for a single listen so it increases the streaming numbers and before we go on guys quick shout out from my instagram big shout outs goes to marita 2024 my g appreciate the love if you guys haven't yet do make sure to follow your boy on instagram at your dig appreciate the love and support you guys show me over there also a reminder about my merch we have the travis and cardi t's on deck link in the description to cop their fire also make sure to like subscribe comment turn on those notifications as well all that good youtube stuff but let's keep going and then revisiting the second point i made this is easily trippy red's most star studded project to date over half of the songs have features plus it's literally a who's who of the newest streaming generation lil mosey juice world mally nba youngboy tori lanes lil yachty pierre bourne pnb rock and da baby just to mention a few those are some insane names to have on your project and they would have made a lot of people check it out and would have increased those streams. So, between the huge track list and the amount of big features, these two factors I think contributed heavily to the impressive sales that we've seen. However, lastly, and this is important to mention because Trippy also does deserve credit. This is a great album, especially when you compare it to exclamation mark and definitely return to form for Trippy. And I think the album being as good as it is, is what ultimately drove those sales up so high. The track listen and features definitely created the platform for the album to do well and get people to check it out. But ultimately the music delivering and connecting like it has really helped push the sales and keep the streams going because the way that I'm seeing it received online is undoubtedly better than exclamation mark. And I think the sales reflect this. So between the long track list and the big name features, and as well as it being just a great project overall, I think that's what's led to the big first week numbers we've seen. But that's all for me today, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't, like button, hit that, subscribe button, hit that, turn on those notifications as well. All that good YouTube stuff. Also, there are more videos of mine on screen right now. Do make sure to check them out if you haven't.